Republican and Democratic lawmakers from both the House and the Senate. We have something in common. We'd like to see this get done. And you know what this means. We're here today to advance bipartisan immigration reform that serves the needs of the American families, workers, and taxpayers. Uh, it's DACA. We've been talking about DACA for a long time. I've been hearing about it for years, long before I decided to go into this particular line of work. And maybe we can uh, do something. We have a lot of good people in this room, a lot of people that have a great spirit for taking care of people we represent, we all represent. For that reason, uh, any legislation on DACA, we feel, at least a strong part of this group feels, has to accomplish three vital goals. And uh, Chairman Goodlatte will be submitting a bill over the next two to three days that will cover many of these things. And obviously, that will, if it gets passed, it'll go to the Senate, and they can negotiate, and we'll see how it all turns out. But I feel having the Democrats in with us is absolutely vital, because this should be a bipartisan bill. This should be a bill of love. Truly, it should be a bill of love, and we can do that. But it also has to be a bill where we're able to secure our border. Drugs are pouring into our country at a record pace. Uh, a lot of people are coming in that we can't have. We've greatly stiffened, as you know, and fewer people are trying to come in, but we have uh, tremendous numbers of people and drugs pouring into our country. So in order to secure it, we need a wall. We need closing enforcement. We have to close enforcement loopholes, uh, give immigration officers, and these are tremendous people, the border security, agents, the ICE agents. We have to give them the equipment they need. We have to close loopholes. And uh, this really does include a very strong amount of different things for border security. I think everybody in the room would agree to that. I think that we — it's a question of uh, amounts. But I think everyone agrees we have to have border security. I don't think there'd be anybody that says no. Second, it has to be a bill to end chain migration. Chain migration is bringing in many, many people with one, and often it doesn't work out very well. Those many people are not doing us right. And I think a lot of people in the room, and I'm not sure I can speak for everybody, but a lot of the people in this room want to see chain migration ended. And we have a recent case along the West Side Highway having to do with chain migration, where a man ran over killed eight people, and many people injured badly, loss of arms, loss of legs. A horrible thing happened. And then you look at the chain and all the people that came in because of him. Terrible situation. And the, the other is to cancel the lottery program. They call it visa lottery. I just call it lottery, where countries come in and they put names in a hopper. They're not giving you their best names. Common sense means they're not giving you their best names. They're giving you people that they don't want. And then we take them out of the lob lottery. And where they do it by hand, where they put the hand in a bowl, I probably uh, what's in their hand are the worst of the worst. But they put people that they don't want into a lottery, and the United States takes those people. And again, uh, going back to that same person, he came in through the lottery program. They went, they visited his neighborhood, and the people in the neighborhood <coughs> said, oh, my God, we suffered with this man, the rudeness, the horrible way he treated us right from the beginning. So we don't want the lottery system or the visa lottery system. We want it ended. So those three things are paramount. These are measures that will make our community safer and more prosperous. These reforms are supported by the overwhelming majority of Americans from every standpoint, from every poll. And they're being requested by law enforcement officers. I had a big meeting with ICE last week. I had a big meeting with the Border Patrol agents last week. Nobody knows it better than them. As an example on the wall, they say, sir, we de desperately need the wall. And we don't need a 2,000-mile wall. We don't need a wall where you have rivers and mountains and everything else protecting. But we do need a wall for a fairly good portion. We also, uh, as you know, it was passed in 2006, a uh, essentially similar thing, a, a fence, a very substantial fence was passed. But unfortunately, I don't know, they never got it done. But they need it. So I'm appealing to everyone in the room to put the country before a party and to sit down and negotiate and to compromise, and let's see if we can get something done. I really think, Dick, that we have a chance to do it. 
Uh, I think it's very important. You're talking about 800,000 people, and you're talking about lots of other people are also affected, including people that live in our country. That's from the security standpoint. So maybe uh, the press can stay for a little while, and a couple of folks can make statements, and I don't mind the statements. We want to have this as a very open forum. I will say, though, that uh, I really do believe Democrat and Republican, the people sitting around this table, want to get something done in good faith, and I think we're on our way to do it. This was an idea I had last week. I was sitting with some of our great Republican senators, and we all agreed on everything. It was a great meeting, right, David, right? We had a great meeting, Tom. It was perfect. Then I said, yeah, but we'd like to get some Democrat support. What do they say? And I say, let's have the same meeting, but let's add the Democrats. And that's what we've done. And uh, I think we're going to come up with an answer. I hope we're going to come up with an answer for DACA. And then we go further than that later on down the road. Dick, perhaps you'd like to say a few words? Well, thanks, Mr. President, for inviting us. We're all honored to be part of this conversation. Uh, September the 5th, you challenged us. You challenged Congress. You said we're going to end DACA, now replace it. As of today, we've not done that. We face a deadline of March 5th, which you created, uh, with your uh, elimination of DACA. And we know that, in the meantime, there have been efforts underway. I've, Senator Graham and I have sat down with a bipartisan group of senators. Uh, we have worked long and hard. Many hours have been put into it. Uh, and we feel that we can put together a combination of, of the future of DACA, uh, as well as border security. That there are elements you're going to find Democrats uh, support when it comes to border security. We want a safe border in America, period, uh, both uh, in, when it comes to the issues of illegal migration, but also when it comes to drugs and all these other areas. Now, I will say that there is a sense of urgency that's felt by many of us when it comes to this issue. There are many of these young people who are losing the protection of DACA on a daily basis. As of March 5th, 1,000 a day will lose DACA protection. 900 of them are members of the U.S. military. 20,000 of them are school teachers. In my state of Illinois and the city of Chicago, there are 25 of them in medical school who can't apply for a residency if they lose their DACA status. So lives are hanging in the balance of our getting the job done. We've got the time to do it. In a matter of days, literally of days, we can come together and reach an agreement. And when that happens, I think good things will happen in other places. And we'll see some real <coughs> progress here in Washington. I agree with that, Dick. I very much agree with that. Tom, would you like to say something? Tom Cott. Thank you for inviting us all here. And I'm glad to be here with Democrats and with House members as well. Um, you know, I think on this issue, there's a lack of trust, and has been for many years. A uh, lack of trust between um, Republicans and Democrats, a lack of trust among Republicans, and most fundamentally, a lack of trust between the American people uh, and our elected leaders on not delivering a solution for many, many years about some of these problems. Uh, and I hope that this meeting can be the beginning of building trust between our parties, between the chambers, uh, because I know for a fact all the Republicans around the table are committed to finding a solution, and I believe all the Democrats are as well. Uh, so I think this is a good first step in building the trust we need for a good bill, Mr. President, that will achieve the objectives that you stated, uh, providing legal protection for the DACA population while also securing our border and ending chain migration and the diversity lottery. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And Mr. President, thank you very much for having us down here. Uh, I agree with Tom Cotton that the American public are very frustrated with us. One of the reasons they're frustrated with us because we continue to couple things on which uh, we have large agreement with things on which we do not agree. This is a perfect example of that. 86% uh, of the American people in the most recent poll are for uh, ensuring, as you have said, uh, not uh, providing for